Hello, my friend. My name is Danny Fortz with the Rejection Free Formula. No calling, no chasing, and no convincing. And in this video, I'm going to share the powerful WordPress plugin to creating beautiful highlight boxes in seconds. So when you scroll down this page, you're going to see these highlight boxes here. And I've done a little bit um, of some other training. And how I've put this together is I got to ask you a question here. And the question is, not counting the time it took to record the video, how much time do you think this whole page took me? I put less than 30 minutes or more than 30 minutes. Well, here's what happened if you click this. Surprise, you guessed wrong. It took me less than 10 minutes. Go on to the next question. So if you go to question two, you click on question two. When, oh sorry, would you like to learn how to create a page just like this step by step in under 30 minutes? And if the answer is no, uh, no, no worries. I guess there's no reason to stay on this page and you can leave this page. <laughs> or you can go with yes. And it says, awesome, my friend. Keep reading and watch the video below. So this is a WordPress um, plugin, obviously, and it's to create these boxes here. And what I'm also going to include is some graphics that you can do um, these kind of individual bullet points. And this is all without um, using a paid plugin. Uh, and it's really, really easy um, using the plugin I'm going to share. So if you've been going through some of my other training, you're going to know that uh, I use this page on one of my last videos. This was for um, how to download an MP3 player and also how to um, upload MP3. And so have a player and then be able to download the actual audio. So right now we're going to make a box that actually um, uh, goes around this so very similar to like a Johnson box is what they're actually called But you can actually you know change some of the design colors and, and things like that So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into here and we're gonna go to um, Let me first tell you what the name of the plugin in is and I believe it is called let me get a new window um, Attention Div boxes for WordPress. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. Yes. Attention div box WordPress plugin. Um, and I'll show you a little screenshot. It's, it does all these different kinds of boxes as you can see here. So, and the thing is you can put content in here either. It's not limited to just text. I mean, you can put pictures, you can put video. Um, like I, I also, you know, put some of the adjust, you can use plugins within plugins. Uh, to create all kinds of neat cool stuff and so I'm gonna for this video I'm literally going to keep it basic. Okay. I already have the plugin installed So let's this was my test page that we were using and I'm not going to show you how to upload a plugin uh, In this video you should know you just go to the plugins you go to plugins um, You go to add new and then you basically look up the same thing attention div boxes So what happens is like once you, the settings um, You go in and just literally activate it and what happens is this area down here, and what you can do is you can actually change all of these boxes. Now, these aren't the boxes that came with. I, I did some of my own, um, I put some of my own colors and stuff in here, but let me just show you how it initially um, worked in the settings. Yeah, I got a lot of plugins on mine, so don't worry about it. So if I go to attention div, div boxes, I go here and see how I labeled. Now, this is where you actually set all your different div boxes. Um, so what you can do is if you go to, let's say if I, I'm going to go to Pixar for a second just so I can show you this. I have a ton of different images in here, so it's probably just better if I use something in here related to the rejection-free formula. So let's do, I'm going to go down here. I should have had this a little bit better planned out, but it's always better to just kind of go on the cuff sometimes because you can do it almost as fast. It's just it's just not as uh, what you call it synced together. So, all right, let's let's get this since you're already going to be on this page anyway. Okay, so I'm going to get my color picker here, and let's just say I wanted to make the border blue. So I clicked on that blue, and especially if you already have graphics already to match, you can kind of start matching your content. So I just copy, I'm going to close this down. Um, so let's say I'm going to go over here and um, I got to write this down just so I can go back and do this over again because I have every one of these already used up. So let's go. Give me one second, guys. Sorry.
Okay, so we're going to go over here and I'm just going to call this, and this is the example. Uh, see how I clicked on here? If I click off or if I, you know, click right here, it shows me the example of the box that's there. Okay, so I'm just going to go down here and I'm going to use this one just for a minute. And I'm going to call this rejection free box. Okay, and the color, the text color it's asking there, but, you know, I like to generally leave the text color black um, so you can do that as well you can change it to whatever color you want um, the background color actually let me go with the border color first because that's the one I just copied so if that's the border color I just change it to this color blue I have choices to go with dash dotted um, double groove I can show you a little bit of what these look like so if I went with solid see how that just changed to solid okay if I go to dotted change to dotted dashed is dashed um, that's a double, okay, groove. So I'm going to leave this one as groove for this example. You can change the thickness, so that's three, but let's just say if I did 30 pixels, I mean, just to, just to show you what this looks like. Okay, that's pretty big and probably not something you want to do. Um, but let's just say I go to, let's say, five pickles, pixels. Okay, that's, that's what it looks like at five, but I'm going to go back to keeping it at somewhere around three, okay? So um, I'm just going to go leave it on solid, actually. So then we go, you can actually do rounded corners. As you can see, if I'm clicking there, it does a rounded corner, or if it does um, a square corner, uh, squared. And then you can change the, let's, let's, put, let's double this, and let me show you what this looks like when it's rounded. Okay, so it's more rounded. All right, so I'm just going to leave this at 10 pixels. Okay, and text alignment, you can just, you know, text the line to the left or um, in the center and that's pretty much it so what happens is you actually wind up saving your changes in the settings area okay and we're gonna go back to our uh, test page mm -hmm. let's go to let's go to the test page So this is the actual test page, and again, what we do is when you're on this uh, page, you want to actually be somewhere where you want to actually insert the code, okay? Because again, this is down here, and we have this down here, and I'm going to go to that box that we just created, which was this one right here. And actually, you know what? I forgot to actually change it. I wanted to change the background to yellow, so I'm going to get this yellow. Sorry, um, let's just go back. Um, Let's go to our settings. Doing this a second time, sorry guys. Um, so let's go, let's change this background color. I'm going to change that background color to rejection free kind of yellow. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do. So now we save this. We go back to our page that we were on. Go back to our test audio page. So I'm going to show you first what the page looks like. That's how it looks right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, okay, and we're going to go across and grab this one. So all I do is literally click on this one time, okay. You don't even, the funny thing is, is I, I was waiting for some magic to kind of happen, but, um, whoops, I guess I am wrong. Um, Oh, okay, because you got to be on, you got to actually be on text, not visual. And I was on um, visual. So what we're going to do is we're going to be on text. Okay, let's try this again. Go down here, and you hit that. Now, see how this, this code just came in, this div class custom attention box? Okay, and then all you do is all the content that you want um, in the box, okay, is you want to put the content under that and then change where the div tag is. So you just copy the div tag, erase it, put it around all the content you actually want. So we want all that content in there. And I want it to breathe a little bit. So I just put, you know, some of these things in there. So there's actually some space. Okay. So let's just save it and see what this looks like.
And there you have it. So now your audio is here and you can actually put the white background if you want, but now you can actually see that whole place is there. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's attention div boxes. So again, um, my name is Danny Fortz with the Rejection Free Formula. No calling, no chasing, no convincing. And uh, if you haven't gotten your free uh, two-chapter download, just visit dannyfortz.com -E forward slash PDF. Uh, and if you are already have purchased the Rejection Free Formula, I appreciate you. If you have any questions, just get in touch with me. And as always, leave a comment below this video. And thank you. Have a fantastic day.